Hey everybody, welcome back. I am mad. I went on a uh it's just like disappeared. I went on a mining trip, fell in lava, died, lost all of our good gear, so I'm, I still need to make new tools, but I went on an enchantment spree. We got a sharpness doing sword, very very nice. We got a sharpness fire aspect sword, very nice. I'm gonna take my rage out on one of these guys. Got some potions to help us out. Now this this was luck. Protect well, I mean, this these gotta have feather falling, but protection, protection, protection. Right. <laughs> I've got the the old Ender Dragon bow and some arrows. So we're gonna go out and take our rage out on this guy. I mean, I'm fully I'm, I'm mad. <laughs> Lost all of our decent tools. I lost uh this that silk touch pick which is almost dead, the efficiency pick which is almost dead. The axe, actually, to be honest, most of it was almost dead anyway. Um, but, you know, I don't know why I had them in my inventory. I, I didn't need the axe with me, it was like... Ugh. So my dogs kept teleporting to me and dying because they fell through the floor. Teleported to me again, fell through the floor. Uh, yeah, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, we're gonna... Come on, speed boost, there we go. We're gonna go pick up some ender pearls. Probably gonna take tons of damage, but screw it. And we're gonna go and give it, give us, uh, give it a shot and kill the Ender Dragon. Not the Ender Dragon. We've almost already killed that guy. I mean the uh, the Wither Boss again, properly this time. But, yeah. Right. So let's. Uh, which way should we go? Let's go that way. How much damage do I take? Half a heart, and I don't even have Feather Falling on. Sweet. Imagine if I did have Feather Falling on. I can't even throw ender pearls, god. Here we go. If I fall through the floor. Oh, I landed. Oh, I, I'll i show you that in a second. I put uh, rails along the very, very top. Well, it's going to be our tracks. Let's grab some beef. Right, so we're going to go this way. Oh, I've also done this. Started working on the roof. I thought, well, I thought that... Oh man, yeah, I really, really, really need feather falling boots. If I'm going to jump off things again. A lot, I lost my feather falling boots. My, uh, I was wearing my diamond armor at the time, or well, I think I was wearing part of my diamond armor. So, I still have the leather armor, you know, the one that I've been wearing recently, and I still have the wither wither skull for the hat because I was going caving and I thought, eh, I'll wear it just in case. But apparently, it doesn't work. <laughs> so we're gonna run out this way and uh, set up the boss. And we're going to destroy him. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that, that death was literally like 15... Wow. I was literally 15 minutes from finishing my trip. I had a couple... What the hell? Um... What the? What the hell are you doing here? Why did I bring both of those with me? Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, I have no explanation for this. <laughs> he can stay there. He's fine. Right. Oh, this is the uh, extreme hills, and it's becoming night soon. Darn it! Looks like we're gonna have some real fun. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why. Maybe he glitched out of the towers or something and spawned down there. I don't know. Mind you, I have lost one of the golems from inside of the uh, inside of thingy. So right, let's get this guy set up. All right, one, two, three. Get out of the way. He's gonna explode. And but three, two. Oh, I've got to drink these two. Right, he's concentrating on the squids. Now he's on me. And I have not slipped these in my inventory. I'm invincible, come at me. I didn't even have a sword in my, in my hand. Die! God, this guy hurts. I'm stuck in a hole. No, I'm not. 
man. Thank you. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know what short this is. I don't care. Oh, my God. Where is he? We're there for a couple of seconds. Not even hurt. Don't even care anymore. Let's see, this guy's going down. Take my rage. <laughs> All right, now it's now it's go time. Now we've won. And there we go. He doesn't drop much experience. <sighs> we got it. All right. That was quick. <laughs> Hello, creeper. Get out of here. Ah, oh, that was the looting sword. Sweet. Whoa, five gunpowder from one creeper? Damn. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. I've never actually got that much from one before. The most I've got, I think, was four. Right, you. No idea why you're here, but... <laughs> you can stay here and just do stuff, so... <laughs> We have uh, the Silent Guardian guys. <laughs> God. Look at the sky. Now I'm gonna experiment soon with uh, with the full capabilities of um, custom texture packs. I'm gonna make my own sky, or try to. I think I mentioned that I, l I changed the color of reeds a little. I gave them a bit more contrast. They actually look like they're lit for some reason. It's pretty cool. The roof of the house is coming on. This is going to take me a hell of a long time to do. So I'm going to do most of it off camera because it's going to be a lot of time just AFKing a freaking. Uh, well, AFKing a sand generator, which you, are, you guys obviously don't want to see. So, yeah. Today we're going to do a bit more work on the rail track. Uh, where are we going? Got it set up. So, does this have like a colorful name? No, it doesn't. Sometimes they do. You know, the uh, the golden apple has like a light blue name or something, and these have like, you know, light blue names. Um. So yeah, we're gonna do some work on the track. I'm gonna sleep so we don't get any mobs jumping us. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I do need new tools. Um. I can't even get here. I can use uh, my silk touch. I can. That's my silk touch replacement. Fortune. Oh, what have we got in here? Oh man, we. Oh, I didn't know I had all these. Oh, whatever. Boot and sword. I'll use the. Oh. Steam message. <laughs> uh, we got a replacement for the pickaxes. Ah, uh, let me just reply to the steam message a minute. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> it's my friend. He wants help with his uh, Minecraft thingy. My reply was, uh, "Bitch, go away. I'm still recording." <laughs> right. Um. Yeah. All right. So I've got tools. I'll need to go and make a new axe. Should I have an axe in here? Yeah. All right. I need to go and enchant a new axe and a new shovel. Uh, I've lost my amazing villager, one that was offering all the chainmail gear and all the cheap tools and stuff because of the freaking glitchy game. Ugh. Honestly, Minecraft at the moment is just broken. Mobs just fall through the floor and suffocate to death. My dogs teleport to me, but they, they teleport like three blocks under me and take full damage. And they just keep doing it and die. And it's just like... Ugh. So anyway, let's get started with this uh, adventure. Uh, first, first things first, one, two, three. I suppose with the new like texture of the wait I don't believe it. Where's my rails? Oh, I used all the rails up. <laughs> I guess I can take this. Um, uh, with the n I used all the rails up on the branch on the top. With the new texture of them, you know, them being blue and whatnot, you would think that they'd maybe need a diamond or two to craft. I'm gonna need more glass. Ah, uh, how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five. Whatever. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make the beacon a dual beacon. A, uh, a dual beacon. Uh, you can do that by just basically, if you have a whole iron floor and just drop a beacon on top of it, it will recognize the pyramid out of it. So, beacon number two. I will set that up another time. For now, just chuck it in here. Right. Um. So yeah, let's get rocking and rolling. Yeah, I've been uh, messing around with stuff for the last, like, ages. I said to him I was going to go record, and then I had to go do something. And he's like, it's been 45 minutes, and it's not been 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, have I got any logs? Yes, I do. Well. Right, so what I'm going to do is these are the input rails, right? Oh, this is input, and this is departure. For example, when I since all these carts are empty, if I go and push this one here... It'll just go all the way around and out, like so. If there is a space, this is my working pickaxe, isn't it? Yeah, whatever, because it's efficiency too. If there's a space, you know, which there is now, this is the first first junction there, is plonk in place. <laughs> and if say that one there was empty and fill up then it would go and search and go and park up there so how are we going to do this oh, that is simple we need some more stairs first let's just turn all these into stairs you don't get many stairs for the amount of wood you put in six wood and you get four stairs 17 should be probably be enough i've got some dirt dirt is our is obviously the best building material in the game so of course, we use it every day. It's just an incredible scaffolding. Actually, anyway, um, netherrack is probably a better scaffold than uh, dirt because you can break it with your hand if you need to, and it's just like instant mine. Right, um, height of that needs to go. I think it's one more. So, dirt, dirt. Yeah, it'll probably be like that. Also, I don't know if you guys didn't know, but if you drop a uh, material on a rail, so you have like a a, a minecart which is doing an infinite loop, and uh, you, what you can do is you can drop a block on the rail, and the minecart will stop because it's hit it. it. I don't know if it's a bug or intended, but I think it's kind of cool, I suppose. Uh, no shovel, no axe. <laughs> uh, when when I started the LP, I wouldn't I wouldn't use a shovel or an axe, and I sort of realised that I'm just wasting my diamonds, you know, because I'm using a three a three diamond tool to mine something that I could use a one diamond tool to do at the same speed. <laughs> and also the super mine thingy, uh, you know, the super speed mine you can get with uh, when you hit dirt. The pickaxes don't do it for uh, grass and gravel. So we got ourselves a little station here. I could, well, it's not like I could infinitely extend the station as long as I want. You know, it's if I decide that I want to add another five or six carts to the well, to the it'd have to be in sections of two. So if I wanted to add another six carts to the tr track, I could just stack it out to the middle, bring this out. You know, it's no, it's no, no biggie kind of thing. So the roof, if I've got, if I've calculated that right, should be two blocks above. The roof in here is mostly going to be glass, and um, we'll have uh, dark log beams going right across the middle. So I can put stuff like switches above to power these tracks, because what it will be is it'll be like this, and then the switches will be on top, which will power the track underneath. So we can, whoops, kind of hide it. So what I've got, what I actually do need to do in a second though, is build some more rails, but. So I haven't done that side yet. <laughs> we will do the input line just today, which is this side. So uh, let's go build some more rails. If we make a run for over here, I just want to double check the recording. Make the second. We are on 14 minutes. All right, this is cool. This is cool. I put out a really short episode last week because I thought I was gonna well, last, not last week, last time, because I thought I was gonna be doing an adventure map. Recorded the adventure map. It was it's a Star Wars one by Hypixel. Uh, it was incredibly, incredibly boring. I mean, it's a good, a good map, but it wasn't very fun. Um, 
And yeah, it was just kind of like... Meh, kind of thing. I finished it in like 20 minutes, pretty much. I uh, teleported to the boss level part. Um, and I found out that first I needed two people to do it. So I'd have to somehow implement a, another player. And the... Oh, crikey. <laughs> and the, it crashed. And I really, really didn't feel like loading it up again. That should do. Wow, six six pieces of iron get you sixteen rails. Alright, we got rails for days now, guys. <laughs> rails for days. We're gonna need to use quite a lot of them soon, so. Alright. Like that. Oh. Fudge. <laughs> I can fix this, I can fix this. Um so yeah, oh, uh if I if you haven't seen already, posted a video uh thanking everybody for that looks weird. For my 100 subscribers, thank you all ever so much again. I actually think I've got like 104 now. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Random. When with the the slowness of with the there's the yeah, four tick delay underneath there, so I can push it out and it won't just switch a second. It's off. It waits a second before it switches the track. Okay, so probably gonna need to put speed rails here. Um, should make it, I'll put this here just in case, should make it to about here. I'll do all the calculations for the speed rails, uh, another time, but, um, how am I powering this? Uh, I'll stick another one here, and I'll show you what I mean by, they've changed how the logs place now, like if I were to place it, I want to place a normal way or a normal sideways one before you'd stand here and if I place this now it would be sideways but it's not a great addition to place it sideways you actually have to yeah it's great it means you don't accidentally get sideways or normal way ones if you don't want them so what I need to do is that break this with my fist wood punching and then we'll do this this will go all the way around uh, I don't know whether to leave it in this See, oh, you see what I mean there? You saw that, right? Place it sideways. It's also kind of incredibly annoying as well. Because I want to place it facing me. Nope. Denied. Be nice if it, they did a little modification on it. Um, let's put that there. Put that there temporarily. Drag all that back. There we are. Looks alright. I just kind of figured that... Ah... Uh, <laughs> I need to be able to kind of walk around here for a minute or two, so. Yeah, alright. Do I have any cobblestone on me? No, I do not. Hop. Oh, wrong chest. It, it kind of is kind of confusing with the storage system I built. But sometimes I think, oh hey, cobblestone, there. Nope, it's there. It just goes around all the place. So, I don't know. Well, I think what I've actually done is I've done that wrong gets to the middle here, then that should actually face that way, and that one should do that one, but then I probably confuse myself even more, uh, whatever, it's, it's a different storage room, I mean, you don't normally, you don't see storage rooms like this all the time, everyone's like, compact cluster storage with like 50 chests on top of each other, and all in really tight spaces so they can maneuver them, but, I mean, I've been playing Minecraft for quite a long time now, and I've kind of got bored of the everyday sort of thing. So the inline, I just realised I don't need these speed cards here, because it's the inline. Uh, oh, I'll put, I'll put some of them here just in case. Um, even though it's all downhill, whatever. How is that still powered? Huh, that's cool. Um, so yeah. Cart will come, jump down here, jump down here. Park up in one of these. I come along after I've done my mining trip, go and empty them. Send them all back down to the mine shaft, and they'll be stored up in a piss dispenser. Got a really, really clever design for one of those as well. Um, do you know what? I think I might actually show you it. Give me a millisecond, and I'll flip over to the creative world, and I'll show you. I'll show you how to build one, or my design, and whatnot. All right, we're on the uh, the creative map, or my like creative map thingy. So basically what it is, is you'd have this in a wall. This would be like in the side of a mountain, so you wouldn't need to build this shape. Uh, 
Minecart would come down. Let's say this is the very top. The Minecart would go on here, drop down, stack itself there. It does stack at a funny angle. It, I don't really know why, but it does work perfectly fine. So look, we'll set, I think it's... Oh, let's just fill it up. All right, all of our carts come down, they land here. Uh, we hit the button to call a minecart. Obviously, it won't go into lava, but simple, simple thing. Piston and a half slab. This is my uh, tutorial that I did a while ago, um, and this is the this is the original prototype of how the, uh, the storage bay would work, basically. Depending on what I needed to do, I would need to have this signal inverted. Uh, the, the current design is much different, but it works in the same sort of way. Oh, this one's actually the wrong way around, but I guess you put it in this way. Durr. Car will go in, track will flip, the car will go in, track will flip. Simple stuff. So yeah, there's that, so I'll uh, hop back over to the other world. Alright, we're back. So yeah, that will be down in the very, very bottom of the mine. Uh, or something. I'm going to do something with the flooring up here. Um, the lapis blocks we've got, since we have a lot of them and they're completely pointless, I might do some floor patterns or something with them. Uh, make the room kind of feel like nice and nice and sh smooth and stuff. Because we've got the red the red backing behind the, uh, the chests. I like it, to be honest. It just gives that sort of nice feel. Um, but yeah, car will come. Zooming up here after we've sent it off from the mine, drop down into here and go. What else I'm probably going to do is because we'll have like big lines of big three by three tunnels, which I'm going to burst out with TNT. I'll go creeper hunting sometime soon because that's good. That thing doesn't work very well. Um, we'll have the the cart. I'll have a button where I can hit a button. Uh, all these tracks. There'll be like a track like this waiting at our branch mine. This will go off when I put the call button. The cart will come park up here. We can fill it, punch the button, call, and it will go off again. Uh, and then obviously if I were at another, another mine hole, I could hit the call button and all the other lights would stay on so it would stop just where I want it. And I can just send the return and right back into the machine. Or right back up. And then it will be waiting for us here. It's really cool because I always run out of cobblestone, which is why I was motivated to build this place. Um, so I'm thinking instead of just tossing it into lava, I can go back, cart it back up instead of having to climb all the way back up to the storage room, unload it all, and then go back down and mine. I can just have a massive mining operation and come back when I'm done. So yeah, that's pretty good so far. How long have we been recording now? 23 minutes. So, didn't really get... A super high amount of stuff to do today. We we killed ourselves with the another wither boss properly this time. As you can't say I didn't I'm, or I'm too much of a baby to do it, even though I do have invincible armor. But we did a bit a little bit of work and want some ideas for the next episode. I mean, we we want to do something, but I kinda I don't really know what to do. Maybe we can upgrade that ice tray. We'll actually build like a well when I got the roof done, we'll build like a little walkout or something or a balcony and it can be on the balcony. And we can have like a big one or something. Gonna, I mean, using ice blocks is much easier than taking a bucket of water with you. Because you can just plonk down the ice, smash it, then when you're done, drop a torch in its place, and boom, all the water's gone. But yeah, what I'm gonna do though is this uh, speed beacon, speed block thing, will go under the ground, like completely under the. Well, I don't know if it will reach, to be honest, but maybe we'll leave it in the middle. Uh, it's going to sit here and here, and of course I'll kill more with the bosses in the future, and we'll have a quad display. Or maybe we can replace this with glass. Actually, that's one thing I didn't find. I never found out. Because if you block the top of the beacon, it it won't uh, work. I could just take that one. Um, but what happens if I place a glass block above it? Oh sweet, it doesn't turn off. Alright then, we can do that. Can, uh, like a nice 4x4 four four, four display in the middle. We can make it give us all of its buffs. I think... I don't remember what it does offer, but it does offer stuff like regeneration, haste, jump boost. We can have jump and speed boost. That's probably what I'm going to start with. 
Ah, uh, jump, jump and hit speed too. That's gonna be fun because we can just be like boing, boing, boing. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Me make it quite easy for us to get around. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. Next episode, I'll probably have the majority of the the side of the roof done, I and mean, we can maybe think about what we want to do for the the actual top. Maybe we can kind of arc it or something. That'd be nice. Be a nice sort of thing. I also need to uh, reroute the Iron Golem farm. So instead of them meeting in the middle, the far, far one will just push all the golems. They'll come all the way over here. Uh, whoops. I'm going to enchant some more diamond shoes in a bit. Or something. Get some feather falling, maybe. Or actually, no, I was going to do chainmail shoes. Yeah. Because I, I think I have two pairs of them, or eight pair left. I need to work with more villagers. But they'll come all the way through here, slip through there, and they'll be kind of collected over there. But I changed it a tiny bit. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but I climbed up the ladders. And instead of it being a 2x2 two two center now, it's a 4x4. Four four, and around the edges are signs, where the cobblestone used to be. And they don't get clogged up anymore, which means they spawn faster. Why do I hear that? Oh. <laughs> Stupid. This happens every so often as well. They just die. Ugh. I'll finish off by farming the 14 in here. Or 15 when this guy lands. Die. There you go. I'm, I'm wondering if looting effects uh, might do some tests. If looting effects, um. Yeah, yeah. If the if looting three affects Iron Golem drops. Huh, maybe I might uh, see if I can get hold of a Zoom Avoid. If he hasn't tried that already, I think he might have. Anyway. Goodbye, farewell, see you on the next episode. I'm going to try and pump out three a week now. Oh my god, three. Ah, so many. Anyway, I'll probably see if I can get another one shot out on Friday. Uh, if I've got time or anything to record, you know, anything content-wise. Lighting bugs. Anyway, bye-bye, have fun, see you next episode.